give you an example maybe to, to, to help illustrate how, how I think about this. So data, uh, think about a, a photo cell that's on a line, it's looking at the, the conveyors that have whizzed past there, and it's basically sending a one every time a can's in front of me, I'm a one. If there's no can, it's a zero. That's some data, binary data. Uh, it, it's not really particularly useful other than if you need to know that whether there's a can sitting right there at the time. Um, but you take that data, you bring it in, and you start to count what, the, what those ones and zeros mean, and, and you get a count, and now suddenly this is the production count uh, of the number of cans that's being produced by that machine. That's some information, and that's useful to you now to start to use to run your plant. Knowledge, though, kind of takes it up a step, and, and, and you, you start to look at how you're operating the machine. Why did it actually stop? Why am I no longer producing anything? Why is my production count zero? Uh, how has it come back up? Uh, what was the production against what we were planning to do? So we, we, we know we should be able to produce 1,000 cans a minute. We're only producing 500. That's really knowledge. When you, when you go to wisdom, wisdom is kind of a level above that. It's more looking at, okay, so we, we, we have our lines. We, we have this information data. We have knowledge about it. But what is the optimum way to be running it? Because sometimes that's counterintuitive. So you might think, hey, if I want to get more production out of my line, I should run my machine faster. But that may actually just cause more downtime, more problems, more stoppages, which overall bring your overall production rate down. So wisdom is be being able to look at the data, understand what it means in context, and, and bring some, uh, some experience and some learning back to the problem so you can really optimize what you're doing. We've seen some uh, dramatic results. So where, where we put our, our, uh, our solutions across multiple sites, we've seen reductions in TCO, total cost of ownership for our customers of the order of 30% over trying to maintain those systems separately. Uh, we've seen customers increase their production by up to 25% just through increasing the reliability of how they are operating their assets. Uh, and we've seen customers apply quality statistical process control and other analytical techniques and reduce the amount of product that they waste and give away for free by up to 25%. Sometimes there's something that uh, is not expected, so the most basic things that are returning, they are having a, uncovering a good uh, return on investment, like energy monitoring of, of the lines, to having this energy consumption related to contextualizing within production information makes a lot of value for the customer. So really, sometimes it's basic things like monitoring pasteurizers or the main assets they have is giving a value to the, a fast return on investment of, of the customers.